And what is up everybody, Jeremy here, excited to bring to you another Starfield shipbuilding video. Today we have the White Wraith X2 coming at you and you want to find all the parts that we used in this build, you can find it in a Google Sheet which is linked in the description below. And of course, if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel as everything does help out. Now this is a glitched ship build once again and you can find a cool glitch video that goes over all the glitches we like to use, at least some of it, I know I need to update it, but those glitches are capable of accomplishing everything that you want to do. Just like I just learned that there are some other glitches or other methods that will be faster for you to achieve a certain goal. But anyway, um, let's get to the build. So what we're going to do is split this up into three main sections. We have our middle, center, port, and um, starboard sections. All right. And I think that's where I wanted to start up. Uh, yep, that's it. I'll move this forward a little bit more. And then we're going to work off from the back. So first part we're going to bring over is going to be the ship bed 200 landing bay. That's going to be right there. And to the front of that, we're going to bring over a Nova Galactic companion away right there. Yep. And underneath that, we have a 100 DP slim docker. Bring that underneath. Right in front of that, we're going to have a Nova Galactic 2x1 um, all in one berth. Right above this, we're going to bring over... On top of the companionway is going to be a Nova Galactic Control Station. And to the side of these, these are only going to be here for aesthetic purposes, are two Horizon weapon mounts on each side. Perfect. Now to the top, we're going to bring over a Bulwark Shield Generator right there. And to the front of this, we're going to bring over a Nova Cowling 1LTF. Cool. Um, and then we're going to split all this section up because we have some glitches that we're going to do. So we have the 104DS Magnertial Reactor, a 500T HE3 tank, and a R3000 Alpha Grav Drive. So those are our three main parts that we're combined together. So I'm going to start off with the 104DS Magnertial Reactor. Bring above on top of that's going to be a R3000 Alpha Grav Drive. And above that's going to... I'm just... I'm just stacking these all together so I can squish them in, but I'm going to use the um, duplication buddy glitch where I'm going to use a floating buddy to help me merge these guys down into the 104DS Magnus Reactor so it could share its stepping points with the Nova Galactic Control Station, the Shipbed 200 Landing Bay, and whatever, and whatever else we want to connect to it. So for the floating module here, uh, well, simple rules. Uh, one, you need to be able to duplicate the module you want to merge into a, a occupied spot where there's yeah occupied snapping uh, occupied snap points you need to be able to duplicate that in the star yard you are currently in we are currently in the landing pad with ship builder and two um you make sure it's aligned with the um yeah make sure you line it up to the module you want to merge up to it could either move up or down and then for your buddy stack right here that I'm, um, I'm calling this the buddy stack you need could use any module that you could duplicate and needs to have a top and bottom snapping point and I recommend just setting up two of them right here because we want to force it down and what we're trying to do is even though this guy has a closed snapping point to the bottom this one is currently open and what I'm trying to do is cover up the top because when you duplicate something it likes to move into an open and available snapping point first and that means it could go up or down if you only have like a single point or a single module right here. Same thing here. So I'm decided that I want to cover up the top module, um, the top snapping point above this. So the only place that or only thing that it could use is the open and available snap point to the bottom of this 500T HE3 tank. So I'm going to select the R3000 Alpha Grav Drive and shift click drag to select the 500T HE3 tank. Then hit control G to duplicate it. It duplicated down. Perfect. Hit enter and that should be good to go. Yeah. Double click the main section of, of the ship and it's all good. Now I'm going to delete the R3000 Grav Drive and duplicate another 500T HE3 tank. It duplicated down. Perfect. Now I'm going to show you how to do this duplication buddy glitch with a controller. I'm going to select the modules that I want to use to duplicate by tapping RB once on both of them. Tap Y to duplicate it down. Tap A to accept it. Tap LB to make sure everything is still connected and they are. So that is 
your duplication buddy glitch for both controller and for keyboard and mouse. Cool, next up, I'm gonna bring over an R3000, I mean, a Deimos Tail A. So we have a Deimos Tail A connected right there, right above the, um, the stack of merged modules is gonna be a Deimos Spine C, and in front of that is gonna be a Deimos Spine A. So in front of this, we're gonna eventually bring over the um, Magellan C2 cockpit, and it's already gonna have two Vanguard Obliterator auto projectors attached to it. Now we're gonna move this in and out of place as we start building up our wings. So first thing that we wanna do to build up the wings is we're gonna take these um, Hercules, like, so, and uh, on, on top of that as well, each side is exactly the same. So I'm just gonna move in or try to move in. Um, yeah, I'm just gonna do one side and I can just move this in all together at one time. So here we go. I'm just gonna do one side and then we'll show you other things we needed to be aware of. So I'm gonna move, I'm gonna just move this right now. I know this is gonna be blocking because we also have these two guys here. But yeah, first things first, we're gonna move over the Stroud Engine A. Um, Stroud Engine Bracer A, and we're gonna put it right here. Yeah, that's the spot. Cool, that's the spot. Right behind that, we're gonna bring over Nova Radiator. Um, to the top, connecting to this set of merged mer uh, modules of the reactor, grav drive, and fuel tank is gonna be a Hercules DT-160 engine. You can get these at Stroud Eklund. To the side here, we're gonna bring over a Nova Wing port, or just, yeah, standard Nova Wing in its port orientation, and it's gonna have two Nullifier 1750 suppressors already attached to it. Next up, we're going to bring over a Pinpoint 3G landing gear, bring it next to the, um, the radiator. After that, we're gonna open these guys up and bring over a Deimos Wing A. So Deimos Wing A goes in there first, then bring over Deimos Wing E. Oh no, not, not the Deimos Wing E. Bring over a Horizon Weapon Mount first. Horizon Weapon Mount, and this is already gonna have two PBO-175 Auto Helion beams already attached to it. So yes, that's what we're gonna do. And then, I think we do a bunch of flip glitches, like flip glitches to a closed and already occupied snapping point. So there's two variations of the flip glitch or variation glitch, which one, you can move it into a, an open snapping point, but it's like essentially like, let me see, I can find something for you. So I'm gonna demonstrate both of them for you right now. So this, like the flip glitch to an open and available snapping point means that you can technically move something in there Right, this one. Just gonna move something in there. But you, if you're moving another piece and it's clipping another module, that means you can't move it in. What you need to do, if you wanna glitch it in, is use the flip glitch or variation glitch. Two very similar things. So I'm just gonna show you this to you real quick and then move over to the closed one. But yeah, for the open one, all you gotta do is flip it. So um, this specific module has two flips and it has one, two, three different variations. You could either use a flip variation or a, um, or a, or I should say a flip or a variation. I can't say variations because like the other one's called a variation. But you just swap through the flips or you swap through the variations. And what I do is tap Z to flip it once and flip it twice. Then escape the movement, cancel the movement by tapping either escape or tab. And you double click, it's in there. So that is um, the flip glitch or variation glitch into a free and available snapping point. I'll show you how to do it with the control real quick. So you select it by tapping A, bring it over, and this time I'm gonna use the variation. So flip, you tap Y, or the variation, you tap the directional pad. And for keyboard, you're hitting the arrow key. Then for the controller, tap B to cancel the movement, tap LB, make sure everything's connected and everything is. So that's how you do it as an open available snapping point. Now to do it to a closed, snapping point, right? I'm going to use this and what we're gonna do is like the same thing. What you're gonna do is move the, the module as close to the point where you want it to snap to and then do the flip glitch again. So flip once, flip twice, then cancel the movement by tapping tab or escape. And then what you're gonna do is double click the rest of the ship and you can see it's not connected, but you hit, on the keyboard you hit spacebar, 
let things turn green, then hit either spacebar or enter. And now that module will be connected. Cool, now I'm gonna show you how to do the same thing but with controller, because we have this other piece right here. So I want this piece to connect to this um, horizon weapon mount. So that's the snapping point that I want it to attach to. So I'm gonna take my controller, select the module by tapping A, bring it over, and you can also do the variation, so I'm going to go through the variations as well as another method. Then cancel the movement by tapping B, tap LB to select the rest of the ship, and you can see that module is not connected to the rest of the ship. Tap A to let things turn green, then tap A again, tap LB, make sure everything's connected, and everything is now connected. So there it is, that's how we're doing it. And we can do that a bunch of times for this build. So I'm going to bring over the demo swing E, flip glitch that one in, boom. Double click the rest of the ship, hit space bar, let things turn green, accept the movement, nice. Bring over the demo swing E. Bring it over here, flip glitch that one in. Or flip glitch to closed, double click, hit space bar, let things turn green, accept the movement, perfect. Now we're gonna do the same thing here. So first things first, we're gonna move our demo swing E. Boom. And then we're gonna bring over our horizon weapon mount with two Vanguard Obliterator auto projectors already attached to it. Then we bring over a Pinpoint 3G landing gear, flip glitch or variation glitch to that spot, double click the rest of the ship, see that it's not connected, hit space bar, let things turn green, hit enter, and it's there. Same thing on the next um, landing gear piece. Flip glitch it, double click the rest of the ship, space bar, oops. Make sure your cursor's over one of the modules that you wanna um, <laughs> correctly move in and then let things turn green, hit enter, and, and there you go. Then move over the Caravel V102 cargo hold, flip it, cancel the movement, double click, hit spacebar, let things turn green, boom. And what we're gonna do is do the same exact thing on this other side, but I'm not gonna do it. I'm just gonna, it, it's exactly the same thing, so I'm just gonna select all the pieces and move it in at one time, to save time, boom, there you go. Last piece we need to glitch in will be the Magellan C2 cockpit. So the C2 cockpit will only attach to a um, hab. So I'm just gonna bring it up right here and use the standard duplication glitch to move it down. So hit Control G to duplicate it down. It duplicated down, it's clipping some pieces, that's fine, hit Enter, and that's it. So on controller, you just tap Y. Select it by tapping RB, then tap Y to duplicate it down. And there you go. That is your, move this over, move it back, move this um, Nova Calion back in place. And that is your White Wraith X2. Nice, nice, quick, simple build. Love it. Let's go take a tour. See what it looks like. A, A. All right, so we enter from the back. And if you want to add more crew space, you can definitely duplicate the control station into the same spot to add four more potential crew member spots. They'll probably only take it to, yeah, I, th I think it would work to get to 10. So here we are, we're entering the companion way. Up top should be the control station. Yes, indeed. And below, let me actually, hold on. Let me double check, make sure my crew is set. Ah. Do it. There you go. Get the bonuses from the crew, and then we should enter this door and go into an all-in-one hab, all-in-one berth hab, Nova Galactic style. And then we have our cockpit. Let's go ahead and take a seat and bring out our fun battle music. Oh, that muted really fast. And don't forget, you can find all the parts we use in this build found in a Google Sheet, which is linked in the description below. And of course, if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel as everything does help out. Let's take let's take off. Let's take this bad boy to Crix. We are saving a lot on power that's that could have been used for engines. So we can have a lot of different allocations to it. So that's that's pretty cool. That's cool. That's cool. All right, let's see what we're doing. Um, let's add more to, okay, let's get some EM in there. Oh, that's good. Yeah, it's fine. All right, cool. I feel like I'm missing a power. Wait, who's on my crew? 
Did I forget somebody? I forgot Vasco. That's fine. That's fine. We're okay. We got plenty of skills. Alright, let's go ahead and head over to Crix. Over to the key and take down some Crimson Fleet peeps. Put some power in a grab drive. All right. Let's make sure our, our power is in our weapons. Boom. Let's take this guy out. Ooh. He's boosted. He's boosted. Nice. Last one. Let's go ahead and take it out or take or disable it. There we go. Let's give it the kiss of death. Boom. Oh, we, we like slammed it, dude. And then target it out again, destroy it, and then let's zoom away. And that, my friends, is your White Wraith. We're going to keep it a nice, simple, short video today. Of course, if you want to find all the parts that we used in this build, you can find it in a Google Sheet, which is linked in the description below. And of course, if you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button. And don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel as everything does help out. Oh, wait, where is it? There you go. Subscribe button. <laughs> On that, guys, have yourselves an amazing day. We'll see you all next time. Peace out. Sending on the hearts as well. Thank you so much for all of the support as always. See you again real soon, guys. Peace.